We are in front of the reef to be. We gotta install some lights. I need some ideas on what my first fish should be. If you guys could comment down below, what should I buy as my first saltwater fish? With the tank being just around the corner, I definitely need some ideas. What I would like to do is to get all your guys' comments on what you guys think the first fish should be, and then we're gonna do a poll. And the one with the most votes is gonna be the first fish that we're gonna go ahead and get for this tank. So please comment down below, share the video, let's get a whole bunch of people talking about which fish should be the first in the reef. So I mentioned we got lighting to do. I picked up some top of the line lights. I mean top of the line. I did not buy them new. I got them used for a great price. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here is what I got. I got the Ecotech Radions um, with the Reef Link and the mounts. So we got the Ecotech Marine Reef Link, um, which is gonna be awesome. Brand new, $99.99. That's not what I paid, we'll get to that. Now we got the Gen 4, the Gen 4 XR15W Pros. These things are gonna be awesome on this tank. G4 right there, Gen 4. So we got two of those and the regular price on these was $399.99. And we got two of the mounts two of them and i don't recall if i've seen a price on these but i think they're close to 100 bucks so let's go ahead and take a look here i will get what i paid for this stuff after i'm going to use a screwdriver to open this all right here we go so it's the rms mount system it's got everything i need it's got the screws there we got the arm and then we can decide which size we want to put on here. So like normal, it's got some wear showing it's used. You can see some of the spots here and some of the buildup, but that's okay. I mean, you can't beat a very high quality product. All right. So my plan is to mount it right on the center where the, um, where the uh, overflow is because I want it to be as centered as possible. This has got to come off a little bit more. Still a little bit more. All right, there we go. So that's in place, but now I just got to make sure it's, it's even. I want the light to be distributed evenly. So uh, we're going to stop here, get the other one on, get a tape measure, Measure in between and get this thing right smack dab in the middle. Five and a sixteenth. And there's five. And that's probably a sixteenth right about there. Oh, there should be half. I'm going to tighten that down. All right, now we need to actually get the beautiful Radeon XR15W Pros out. This is just beautiful. Can't wait to use this. All right, so what we're gonna do is use this longer piece. Connects here, and then these two screws go on the bottom. Now this goes on here. this and then it's just a matter of tightening it in the direction we want it all right so they are in place now and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of research because they kind of slope down like coming forward so I'm gonna see if there's a way to straighten them out a little bit. It's because of the weight, but uh, so they're in place. Now we need to go ahead and get the rest going. Okay, so now we're gonna do some cord management. What it does is it runs up here and then it runs in the slot and then we have these little clips. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got them set. Um, 
the instructions showed to just go over here and go this way, but I decided to route it underneath and up around so that when you're looking at it from this angle, you barely see any of it. I uh, just wanted it to be as hidden as possible. Did the same over here. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see the lean, but you can see, see how it leans like that. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to fix it. I have an idea actually. I think on the backside of this up against the glass, I might get like a, a, a piece of glass, maybe something like this, and put it up against there and tighten it because if there's something, if it, if it was sticking out farther and then when you tightened it, it would go up more. So I'm thinking of trying something like that. If any of you guys have this mount and have figured out a way to help it be um, even versus leaning, that'd be awesome. Uh, now we need to get the rest of the wire routed. So yeah, you can see what I mean. You don't see the wire that much. Um, that's why I did it that way. All right, we gotta get the power supplies hooked up now. All right, you can see that they are plugged in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's awesome is they talk to each other. That is pretty awesome. So remember how I was telling you guys about the spots? You can really see them now. I mean, I know once the water's in there, you're not going to see them. But if anybody has any ideas, I would appreciate um, some guidance. But yeah, there they are. The Ecotech XR15W Gen 4 Pros. These things are going to be epic. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fire it up, turn it on, and turn up the light. I'm just going to have it on full blast. There we go. All right, so this is like a blue, like a little turquoise blue, even more. This one's nice, white and blue. Red. And off. So let's go back. Let's go back through those modes again. We won't go all the way. So here's the first one, a nice blue purple. This one lightens up. It adds a more of a greenish tint to it, it seems. Even more now. I think this is going to be my favorite. Um, at least when it is all just fish until I start getting coral. Because I know with coral I'm going to have to mess with the spectrums. But that's that. Just your natural light. Change it a bit red a nice purplish color and off yep looking pretty epic it's coming along got the sump the skimmer everything's plumbed looking epic lights are in rocks are in plumbing is done sump is done skimmers done we're almost done but <laughs> man who I'm so close man I am so stoked this is gonna be so awesome the Ecotech Radeon's great high quality light, um, some of the best of the best. Now we talked about, I bought these used, right? So what I ended up paying for both of the lights, the mounts and the Ecotech Reflink, which the Reflink I'll set up later because I'm not running it yet, so I don't need it yet. Here's what I paid. So what I spent was $500. 
That's a lot of money. But 500 bucks for these? Man, that is a steal. And the fact that these are Gen 4 means they are not that old, which is even better. So when we looked at the boxes, these were 400 each for the lights. Well, $399.99. So let's just say 400 so that's 800 in the lights. The mounts, I believe, were 100 each, so that's 1000 bucks, And then the reflink was 100 So that's like $1,100 worth of stuff for 500 bucks. That is awesome. S super awesome. There's always a deal to find out there. Browse around, and you're going to come across one as well. So yeah, 500 bucks, and then you're going to have your fees and things like that. So it was a little bit more than 500 but for the equipment, it was 500 bucks. Pretty insane, huh? Man, there's deals out there everywhere. I found this one on Facebook. I just kind of started browsing all over the United States. Ended up finding it. Uh, great deal. Worked it out. Um, sent the money. They shipped it, and everything worked out great. I am super excited. We're one step closer. Again, in the comments down below, since we're getting so close, I need to start getting ideas for fish. What do you guys think I should buy as the first fish for the reef tank? Comment down below. I'm going to grab all the names that are down there. We're going to create a poll, and the one with the most votes, and the, the poll will be later, it is uh, going to be the first fish we put in here. So I need your guys' comments on which fish should be the first one in here. Yeah, also, like the video, guys. Comment what you think of the lights. Share the video. Click the subscribe button. It would be awesome if you guys can subscribe and become part of my journey. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, also click that notification bell. Uh, so you will be notified as soon as we get a new video out. We are growing. We are working. And uh, we are expanding, which is just awesome. Let me know what fish I should get here as the number one. And stay tanked.